Okay, I'm going to change the CV boot to my car because it's split. That's the rubber boot that's on the drive shaft. So now, you mm -hmm. point it down here, Leon. And that cracked these bolts loose whilst the car is on the floor. And the center one that's in the car, that's in the drive shaft. I'll get them all loose. So now, I need to undo the center one. I should have, looks like that one. That's when it won't fit. I'll get a hammer and yeah. knock yeah. it in there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to loosen this bolt here. Uh -huh. Can you see it in the camera? Yeah. No, not me. I mean down here. Uh -huh. Can you see this? Yeah. Right. Okay. This will be tight. Actually, yeah. the handbrake's not that good. It's moving the car. Uh -huh. You go down there and film the wheel. You stand over there, Prince. There you go. Right. That's tight. I'm going to have to put the handbrake on a bit more. Okay, this is the bolt right here. Mm -hmm. That was quite tight. Mm -hmm. I'll take this. Once I've got it loose, I'll jack the car up and take this all apart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right, now I'm going to jack the car up and put axle stands under it. Yeah. This is Leon that's helping me film today. Okay, what I'm gonna do now yeah. is put these gloves on because yeah. it's a CV boot and it's massive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so get these on here. I got two ball joints here. Can you see them where you are? Where my finger is? Yeah. There's a ball joint and then I mm -hmm. put an upside downy one just next to it. And I'll loosen both of those. The upside downy one I'll have to do with spanners. So I'll not fit a socket on it, but this one should be 18. I'll just undo these, both of these, and put them right off. Okay, I'll undo these two bolts. So there's the first one. Mm -hmm. In case you're wondering what the sizes are, that 18 millimeter and it was a 14 millimeter hex that I had. Oh yeah. In the drive shaft bolt. I yeah. Had. Okay, now I'm going to undo the other one. Mm -hmm. Look, because I've not got the other side jacked up, I can't turn the steering. That's okay. Yeah. Now we're going to take this one off. Yeah. And because the short spanners, I'm going to double up. Can you see what I'm doing here, Leon? Yeah. This bit right here? Yep. Now I'm going to undo that one, crack it loose. And another thing, we'll undo the. I just bought out the camera. So this is the one on this side that I'm doing. I'm doing that upside down one. And then I'll loosen this bolt here. And there's a nut just down there. In there. I'll loosen all that so the arm can swing down out of the way. Yeah. There you go, Prince. So now I'm going to take this yeah. nut off and then we'll <laughs> loosen that arm. And get that one out of the way totally. This bolt's loose, but it's not taken out all the way. I've just turned it enough that it's loose. So now I'm going to hit this with a hammer right there. Get that to focus. Right on there. And it should drop the wishbone down. Or the control arm down. That's the bit that I was hitting right here. Right there. Okay? because the arm went in it, went through it with the nut in the top. Then that swings down out of the way. The other one, because of the weight of the hub, it's actually fallen down enough like that. It doesn't need to come all the way out. Now I should be able to get the drive shaft out. Yeah. It's here. I'll just... So the drive shaft just slides down. This boot, as you can see, is old. It's splitting, so I'm going to cut it off and fit a nice new one. Okay, here's the new one. What do we have in there, Leon? Yeah. That's new CV boot grease, or CV joint grease. Yeah. 
What else? Oh. Okay, new clamps, that's fine. New boot. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to cut this old one off here. Yeah. In fact, I'll give you the camera. Okay, so I've used this and cut these clamps off that were here. So next what I'm going to do is just take that off. And I just cut it the these scissors to get it out the way. Nearly there. I prefer these rubber ones like this than the hard sort of plasticky ones that you can get because those ones don't slide down the shaft when you want to slide it out the way because the shaft goes wider but the rubber ones are easier to work with. I'm going to see if I can knock this off with a hammer. If I hold the shaft and knock this off, it may come straight off. If it doesn't, I do have a tool to pull it off. Tell me that you hold that. I'm getting CV book grease all over the camera, eh? Okay. No, what I'll do there so I don't pull it out of the inside, yeah. I'll get the tool on it and pull it off. Yeah. Okay, let's just stop that recording just now. Yeah, yeah. Ta. Here's the tool. Can you just step round here, Leon, and we'll get a little look at this. Right there, you see the gold thing? Mm -hmm. So that's bolted onto the shaft. And we just screw this in. Because I couldn't hit it properly, it was going to risk pulling the inside boot out so with this it just screws off and that's it off already it's just wound up right so it's much easier with that so now i can take this bolt out take the tool off and just change the boot that's it much easier than hitting it I'll take this back out the bolt that was in it when we started, she's using the same one, that should, should pull off, there we go, and that's it, this is what we're going to put a new bolt on, we're going to take this off, put those two pieces that went on like that, yeah. going to reuse them, so I'll put them there, and take this off and build it up, get it? Yeah. Right, what I got here is the mm. new grease. Mm -hmm. I'm going to squeeze it in here because we've lost some. Mm -hmm. Put it all in. This is CV boot grease or CV joint grease. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm going to squash it in. Make sure it's forced into there. Because we lost pretty much all the grease out of this. It's on the inside of the wheel and the wheel mm -hmm. arch. So hopefully this will be okay. Not planning on keeping the car long before I scrap it, so it might help for now. Anyway, so that's gonna go back on. I'll knock it on with a hammer, but first I need to put the new boot on. Now, you see that shaft? Yeah. And there's a ring at the end, and that ring will go into here and hold it on. So, what I'm going to do is put that on there. So it started, kind of like that, and then I'll just get the hammer. Now I don't want to mushroom the end of this. That's gone on. If it goes too tight, you'd mushroom all this. So you don't want to do that, because then it won't fit in the hub. But that's okay, that's in. I can pull this boot over. Like that. Yeah. yeah, this crease doesn't taste very nice, does it? It's on. It's on now. Now, it seems to have like the air's got trapped. So, what I'm going to do, if I have to, that would do, just to let the air out of it. Just raising it up. Out. So it had like such and yeah. that's it now we're gonna put the new clamps on
sure it's in the right place. There's a ring there that goes in there. I don't want to get it too far down. Right there. That's it. That's it. Now we can put this clamp on here. You see this here? Got two of them. A big one and a small one. I always bend the end a little bit more, I find it helps. And that can go in there. So it's pretty easy now, eh? We just got to put the build it up, eh? That's on there. Something like that. It's kind of even all the way around. We can take these pliers that look like this. We can crush it on. Like that. Nice and tight. We do the same at the other end of the boot with the smaller one, and again I bend it a little bit. Find it helps. That goes on. Sometimes I even trim these down so it's not got so much to overlap. Okay. Same as before. And that's on as well. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. What I'm going to do is just hit the end of that down. It's kind of like where it ends there. I just hit that to make sure it's properly in. Well, that's it done. Now I just got to put it back together. This will go into here. Okay, now I'm just tightening up these two nuts. So there's one there, and there's the bottom one on this side. I'm going to tighten up as well, right here. And then I'll jack it up and then tighten that. When I say jack it up, I'm going to put a jack under the ball joint and get this arm so it's level. So it's kind of close to how it would be on the ground. And tighten that up. And then all I have to do is put the wheel on. Tighten up the wheel. And the center bolt, just torque them up. That's it done. Hopefully this has helped somebody. It's been needing done for a while, as you can see. It was only by chance that I'd looked at it. I can't remember why I was looking, but I noticed that it's burst and decided I need to do the joint, put a cover on it, but thanks for watching.